and welcome to another parts build. So I had a request asking about the Gigabyte Bricks. Uh, the particular one he was talking about was one that I kind of went over a little bit uh, last video. So that's uh, pricing out the Gigabyte Bricks, the one with the AMD onboard A8. This has the A8 Richland, which is 1.7 gigahertz with a 2.7 gigahertz turbo boost. And it has the same two uh, two by two o four pin. This guy, I believe, has the same limitations. With yes, one point oh only, okay, so it's only thirteen thirty three. So so I guess that's that's kind of the downside. I didn't change that particularly on my price out, but it's still the one three five. So it's it's still going to be similarly priced. So I'll make sure that I remind you when we go in there. Uh, so going back um, to, and this is a two fifty nine price point. I believe the other one that we looked at was another thirty dollars, but that's got an i three. So this guy will probably definitely have, as an AA, definitely have a lot better onboard graphics than the i three for sure. This will definitely beat that in graphics performance. This one will probably come short. But then, of course, as you remember, the other one, uh, the the Nook with a 2.5 inch support, had that's what it had. It had 2.5 inch support, and it was a Nook instead of a Bricks. So what's the difference between a Nook and a Bricks? It's uh, a couple of ports, I believe, as well as the no infrared sensor. And uh, this one does have its own little um, air vents. This one doesn't have a 2.5 says an M SATA and also this guy comes with a car uh, a Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth card combo so I guess that that makes up for it and you see here with the wireless uh, blue and then Bluetooth yes so two USB fronts one HDMI one mini display port two USB 3.0 3.0 and RJ45 which is for the internet and uh, DC in and this guy I think should go under um, well whatever 19 times 3 is that's how many watts so you're saying you know tw uh, you're saying 38 so that's what 57 57 watts something like that yeah 57 it's actually 50 it's exactly 57 it's a little more so so that's way that's that's more than the other one I think the other one was 45 this one's like 57 so or probably 60 but that's fine and also it has the lower it has the lower RAM that's kind of a little disappointing so as you see here this guy is a 1600 version so you would just go for a 1333 megahertz and remember it has to have the 1.35 volt it, so that's the DDR3 low and he's a 1.35 low voltage will not support 1.5 okay what else do we have in here as you see we do not have the card because we do not need it it is built into the PC it comes with it so as you see uh, here we have the M SATA which is a small um, Muskin enhanced Atlas series which is 120 gigs SATA 3 MLC internal solid state drive so that's gonna go over the um, that's gonna go over the card and the uh, over the the wireless and Bluetooth card in the full uh, mini PCI Express slot, and then of course we got what you would swap this guy out for a 1333 megahertz one because that's I mean you could put this in here but it's gonna auto automatically clock it down to 1333. So those are the main difference. Um, that is kind of disappointing, but you know it is what it is because this guy here comes in at quite a bit cheaper, almost you know sixty dollars cheaper than the other one. And this guy is the portable version. This is basically as small as you could get it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how much it would cost for the Nook version of the i3. So I have the Nook version of the i3, the Intel Nook, rather than the Gigabyte Bricks, inside of my cart here. So here's my cart, and uh, you see here that this guy is definitely smaller. Let's go ahead and pull this guy up. It's definitely smaller, and uh, so this is two eight two hundred eighty nine dollars, and the other one was two two fifty nine. 
So it's around, I think it's around a twenty to thirty dollar difference. And this has got the uh, the fourth gen has well one point seven zero um, i three. And now, if you remember, the other one, the A eight, was one point seven standard, and somewhere in the threes for uh, turbo boost. So I don't think this guy ha this guy doesn't have any turbo boost. That's kind of also disappointing. But this has got the infrared sensor. So if, for example, you're, you you go to school and you have maybe an infrared uh, an infrared you know button or uh, infrared remote that you want to do for giving presentations, it would probably be good for that. But if you have Bluetooth, I'd probably go with the other one because then you have to add on top the Bluetooth chip, which was like what forty. Twenty-seven to thirty-seven dollars, so that makes it a lot more expensive. So I think you're better off going with, um, but but remember this guy here also has the one point uh, sixteen hundred megahertz uh, RAM capability, but it does have maybe just a little bit more performance, but uh, it has that problem with um, the graphics not being there. So I guess a more rounded system would be the A8. Uh, but the 1333 is definitely a problem. So, so uh, to to you know give you a definitive answer, and here you can see the price: 259 against 289. And this guy already has the wireless and Bluetooth card. This guy you would need to buy it, like you saw on. Uh, so that would be. Let me get this really quick. So that is another 27 dollars. So you're looking at another 30 dollars. So that makes it, you know, 210, which is almost $60 higher than this. And I don't think the performance is worth that. Uh, the performance probably isn't worth that. And plus you get, you know, not that you don't get the turbo boost when in this case you could get the turbo boost. If you could keep it cool, I would probably go with the with the AMD version here. Uh, probably the only reason why you'd go with the i5 over this guy is number or the i3 I, I would I, I would check around and look for the performance and see how much perform how much more performance you get I know for sure that the a8 will beat the i3 in graphics but I don't know with having to do with these uh, with these um, with these clock speeds this uh, standard and turbo versus this this uh, this uh, this guy here the i3 which has only 1.7 gigahertz no turbo boost so uh, for me for me personally I would go with the AMD here this guy is a, is a pretty nice little computer here and uh, definitely something you could take on the go and do stuff through the projector or you know play some games whatnot whatever you want to do so uh, those are the those are the choices there for a, a low performance um, I mean um, a low power uh, medium performance PC, portable PC, or in this case, bare bones mini PC. Uh, let me show you, like I said, with some of the other bricks. Let me show you some more of those bricks. So I, I also saw another one, which is this guy here. This guy has a Celeron on it. This is an Intel Celeron processor, which is a 1.8. So, and this guy, mm, Okay, this guy has well wireless and all of the bricks I believe have wireless on board and this guy also has a 1600 uh, capability. So like I said, I would probably go with the bricks that has the AMD. Why? Because these two clocks here are very adaptive to whatever you want to do. If you're doing low stuff or if it's just sitting there idling, it'll use the 1.7. If you want it, you could get the 2 gigahertz, and I guess you're just going to have to deal with the, the lower the lower RAM. Even though I know systems that have onboard graphics that are this good really rely on that RAM speed. So you might want to clock it up and get maybe another 4 gig card, or you could just go with this one because this will outperform that uh, that. Uh, that i3 even with that memory boost probably all right so this has been uh steven from the legit pc and this is my uh parts build of a portable amd or i3 or or uh, other uh nook here i3 uh, gaming pc um i guess it's a gaming pc 
And uh, if you didn't notice, this guy here comes at under $400. Uh, the other one was $450 for a 2.5. And having the wireless, this guy has everything that other guy has except for the infrared. And this guy's an AMD. And then if you want, you could add this. If you do want to go with the i3, you're going to add another, um, what was it? So you're gonna enter, you have another thirty bucks, and another thirty bucks for the wireless and Bluetooth. So you're looking at another sixty dollars. So you're taking that right up there next to it. And the only thing you get it get it uh, add to it is that it's an SSD instead of a two point five. So um, the gigabyte is definitely the 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 budget winner here because if you take thirty bucks off that, then the whole unit itself is worth two twenty, which is definitely a good buy. All right, so uh, I would suggest the AMD one, and because uh, it's the best well-rounded PC, and it will do basically anything you throw at it. All right, so I uh, thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned for my next video. And uh, if this isn't the PC for you, um, then uh, keep watching, and one, the one that you're looking for will come up. And if this is kind of confusing, uh, look at my other video with the Nook. And it should, because a lot of the other, uh, information that I didn't mention on this one is in that one. So check that one out if you want to get some more information. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And uh, take it easy.